have two, three, four, we did. Open that program, we did. Kitchen program, we did. Chapu, chapu, let's we did. Madam Sabi cook, she did all campaign. For South TV, we did all campaign. Chef two, three, four. Make we the cook, make we the chocolate, and make we the belly food. Now me, be Madam Sabi cook. <laughs> For South TV, we did all campaign. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is to wash my chicken. The chicken is frozen, so I'm going to take my time and wash it. Remember, I want to make spaghetti jello. That's what I want to prepare right now. I'm washing. So the next thing I'll do now is to transfer it into my pot. Then I place on the cooker. So right now I'm going to season with some salt, seasoning cubes and of course onions. So I'm going to cover now. I've added uh, my salt, uh, seasoning cubes and onions. So I'm going to cover and allow this cook through. I will be using the chicken for the spaghetti, for the jollof spaghetti. So just stay with me and make sure you watch this video till the end. Alright, let me check up on my chicken and see how it's doing. As you can see, it's doing pretty well. I added uh, some water in between the cooking process. So right now it's okay. So I'm going to remove it and use the same pot for the making of the spaghetti make sure you watch this video till the end or you are going to learn a whole lot i've removed my cooked chicken in the pots so i added some clean water so right now add some salt actually add some salt then add some vegetable oil as well and so after adding the vegetable oil, I'll cover and allow it to boil very well before adding my spaghetti. Okay, so right now, the next thing that I will be adding into my boiling water is the spaghetti. The reason why I added that vegetable is so that the spaghetti doesn't stick together while boiling, when you're boiling it. So make sure you add vegetable oil while boiling your spaghetti so that it will not stick together. You see how this one will look when we are done making it. So right now all of it have entered into the boiling water. So I'm going to cover and allow it to cook before we do other things. So stay guys. So I am done boiling I'm boiling my spaghetti. So I pour it into a sieve. So I'm going to add cold water to enable to aid the separation process. Hmm. That's fine. So the next thing we are going to be doing right now So we are going to be frying our chicken at this point before other things. So now if you don't have if you're not using chicken or meat, so if you don't have meat stock, don't discard the spaghetti water the way I discarded it. Why I discarded it is because I have chicken stock that I'll be using. That's 
the water I used in making, preparing, boiling my chicken. So because I have it, that is why I discarded. If not, I wouldn't have discarded this water I used in boiling the spaghetti. Okay, so take note of that. So if you're not using meat, if you don't have any meat stock or any fish stock or any chicken stock, don't discard water because that's what you're going to be using to boil your spaghetti. So right now, I'll add my vegetable oil into the pan. Also, fry it immediately. Everyone around is hungry already. So, so I'm going to fry this. I'll fry it as I get that golden brown before I'll remove it. So I'm still going to allow this fry for a few more minutes. Then I'll remove it from the pan so that we can start frying, making the spaghetti proper. I've gotten that golden brown that I want and take so I'm going to set this aside while we start frying I add onions Onions goes into the pot. Add some bay leaves. Tomato puree. Blended pepper. So I'm going to allow this fry very well. So right now. The next thing I'll be adding is my curry powder. Okay. So, I'll add my chicken stock. That's an uh, all purpose seasoning. I'll cover and allow it boil all the ingredients to marry itself with the chicken stock before adding my spaghetti. Okay. Is boiling right now so let's put our spaghetti so you see my spaghetti right now see how it is looking so in case you're not using the type of spaghetti I used and you did not use vegetable oil while boiling it and the things stick together the only thing you just do at this point is just add cold water and it will separate so I am I used vegetable oil so it's still not sticky so but in case yours is sticky, so before you add it into your mixture, you add cold water to it so that it will separate. 
let me transfer it into my pot right now look at that this is my bokeos you that used to go to eat tree to buy spaghetti all the time after watching this video i don't think there will be any point going make your spaghetti at home hmm? make it for your family friends everybody will enjoy it trust me there is no better way to make your spaghetti other than the way i am showing you right now so after don't just mind the camera this the the, the the color right now is super dope but I'm going to show you how it looks after filming so that you see what it is so right now I'm going to cover and allow it cook very well this hmm. so right now I'm going to plate this look at that guys look at mind this camera i don't know why it's doing it's not doing justice to the picture quality of this spaghetti oh god i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna plate this right now i'm gonna show you how it looks like in pictures so that you see it guys this is so dope i mean what's like come on away make you already cook make you already chocolate and make you already belly food now me be madame sabiko go and try it out guys Try it and make it for your family. See you in my next video. Bye. All right, can you beat that, guys? Look at, just look at. Hmm? Now go and try this out. Send me pictures. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is looking so pretty and lovely. Well, until I come on away again, I beg. Make on the cook. Make another you know chocolate and make another you know belly food. Now me be Madame Sabi Cook. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Chef two three from the day. Open that program with the kitchen program with the chopu chopu let me day. Madame Sabi Cook. She the whole campaign for South TV. We the whole campaign. Chef 234. Make with a cook, make with a chocolate, and make with a belly full. Now me be Madame Sabi Cook. <laughs> For South TV, we the whole campaign.